It was almost a clean sweep for President Biden on Super Tuesday. He dominated his few rivals. He won around 80% of the vote in almost every contest, except one, which we mentioned, by the way, quite Multiple often times. yesterday. Yeah. American Samoa, 91 entire votes cast in the Democratic caucuses. And Biden lost 51 to 40 to Jason Palmer, a little known venture capitalist from Baltimore who has never held public office. And Palmer's campaign says he didn't visit the island himself, but he did appear virtually at events and he had three full time campaign staffers on the ground. That is obviously not Jason Palmer, but he is joining us right <laughs> now. Jason, thanks so much for coming on CNN News Central and sharing part of your afternoon with us. Uh, I'm wondering when what went through your mind when you found out you won the primary in American Samoa? Well, I knew that there was a lot of support from the people in American Samoa because I'd done multiple virtual meetings with them. My team on the ground was keeping me updated with pictures that seemed to come in every 30 minutes of new signs that were be put, being put up and new people they had talked to who were interested in my campaign and what I could do for the island. I think it really was the first time that a presidential candidate really took American Samoa seriously and listened to the people and responded to their needs. Yeah, it probably helps that you say it correctly. And I Fair. realize I've been saying it yeah. incorrectly. Yeah. Um, you had a message for them. You know, 99% of us here on the mainland have just never I'm heard sure. it said correctly. So, you know, you're of forgiven course. and they forgive us too. Of course, it's an, it's an education. You campaign remotely. Can you talk a little bit about that process? Yeah, well, you know, when Super Tuesday is coming up and there are 15 states at the same time, you can't possibly go everywhere. I spent some time on the ground in Colorado. I spent some time on the ground in Vermont. I wasn't just focused on American Samoa. I actually am on the ballot in 16 states and territories, and we're looking at adding additional states and territories, too, now that we have this win under our belt. I mean, as you know, two thirds of Americans and two thirds of Democrats say that they want a younger candidate. They want someone who's in tune with them on Gaza, on immigration, on investing more in the American people. And if you look on my website, you know, it's all about building a new color economy, restoring the American dream for young people, actually addressing the crisis in Gaza differently. I would not have vetoed those UN resolutions. In fact, what's happening to the Palestinians is terrible, and the United States should not be sending aid to Israel to continue to propagate that war. Jason, we'll, we'll, we'll take you on, on the premise that you are running a serious campaign uh, for president. I have to be honest, I, I'd never heard of you before last night, and someone flagged to me, Jason Palmer has won American Samoa, Samoa, I'll get it right, I promise. Uh, but Samoa. I'm wondering, you'll get it, you'll get it. Samoa, <laughs> yeah. But, but I'm wondering what your response is yeah. to the White House that this is silly news. It, it sounds like you, you have a, a serious platform in, in your mind. I do have a serious platform. My platform is based on conscious capitalism, which is not something that I invented, but it's a movement that I've been part of for the last decade, which is that companies can be focused not on just making profit, but also on doing good for social causes, doing good for positive impact in the world. In my case, I invest in companies at the intersection of education and workforce technology. We help upskill people. We help educate people in prisons and jails, help them with getting reintegrated back into society, help more people graduate from high school, college, reduce the cost of college, these types of things. That's why I, I know exactly how to build the new collar economy for the United States. But Conscious capitalism is bigger than just education and workforce. It applies to electrifying our entire economy. We can actually introduce more green jobs into the economy. We can actually become a carbon neutral country by 2030 or 2035 with the right type of focus. And, you know, I'll admit, I'm definitely a long shot candidate. This is the first time that uh, someone has beat an incumbent president in any primary election since 1980. Uh, but, you know, this is this is giving voice to the two thirds of Americans who feel like it shouldn't just be Trump versus Biden. We actually need alternative voices to be heard. And they want a positive, optimistic platform for the future, especially young people. You know, most young people don't think they're going to do better than their parents. 
it does not have to be that way in the United States of America. We know how to innovate. We know how to make a more equitable economy. And honestly, I'm not going to wait. We're going to be pushing, pushing, pushing all the way to the convention. And yet Biden isn't going anywhere, right? I mean, it seems even even with your win, uh, it's sort of unofficially official that now you have the race for the general election, Biden versus Trump. And you said Biden he needs to be younger. That's not going to happen. You said Biden needs to hand this off to a new generation. That's not going to happen this cycle, Jason. So where does that leave uh, voters who are making a choice here? Well, I wouldn't say, I mean, Biden's team has said for sure he's running for president. His goal is to accept the nomination. But I hold out a small chance that Joe Biden actually wants to be remembered like George Washington that he knew when it was time to pass the torch to the next generation. He could do that tomorrow. He could do that in a month. He could do that at the convention. Now, that said, he may continue to run for president. And if he does, then I will support him because I'll support whoever the Democratic nominee is. And I voted for Joe Biden four years ago. I just don't think he's the best president for our times right now. Um, I do want to also take this moment to mention that I will be uh, co-founding a new organization in the next few weeks. This will be the first time that I'm mentioning it. We need to actually pull the country together. In fact, that's going to be the name of the organization, together with an exclamation point. And its goal will be to try to rally independents and young people to the cause of taking back our government, having it be radical common sense, actually passing bipartisan legislation, none of this constant government shutdown and continuing resolutions. We actually need to address these problems, and this is going to be an important part of what I do over the summer while continuing to campaign for president. Jason Palmer, it's a great to have you, the victor in the Democratic primary in American Samoa. Thank you for being with us. Hey, great pronunciation. Thank you. She caucuses, caucuses, man. I am messing this up. Was it caucus? It, it was, was a caucus, yeah. All right, Jason, thank you so much. <laughs>